hi guys welcome back to my channel um i know i start every video in this like little corner but right now it is like half past three in the afternoon and i have a photo shoot um it's basically with yeah so i have a photo shoot and a mini interview so the photographer that you guys um have seen me work with i think i did vlog it yes i did i did um earlier this year she was the photographer at my graduation um so she's starting a website and she asked me to like um be in like a photo shoot and interview so she has like content for her website so i'm going to do that um yeah i'm running behind today is also the day that south africa won the rugby world cup which is great i didn't get to see it i was supposed to so this vlog was meant to start like super early this morning i was supposed to go to my friends and then we we're all gonna go to a braai and all of that but then i couldn't fall asleep until 6 a.m and i was supposed to meet my friend at 10 a.m and i knew if i was going to this whole thing to the to the braai it would mean that i need to be up by seven and if i fell asleep at six you can do the math i didn't wake up um so i'm in a bit of a hurry i'm actually super hungry but at the same time i usually don't eat before i do any sort of photo shoot or whatever because i want my stomach to look flat because inevitably if i eat it's going to you know um but i need to eat something so i'm gonna see i'm gonna go to the garage and see if i can get like a snack or something and then we'll go to the photo shoot from there <laughs> So, um, just got done at the garage. I just got some, um, Pringles for snacks because they're nice and salty, which I definitely need in my condition, um, like with blood thinners and everything. Someone actually asked me if Hub is, like, okay if someone has lung problems. I don't have lung problems. <laughs> um, I don't have lung problems. I just had blood clots in my lungs. Um, but, yes, I have, so obviously, I mean, I I wouldn't Hmm I wouldn't put myself in danger you know and obviously like I went to the hospital I had discussions with all my doctors I said I see my doctors quite often so no, I do have a list of things I'm allowed to do and I'm not allowed to do so I'm not allowed to drink alcohol I'm not allowed to take any drugs recreational drugs as the doctors call them so no weed no cocaine no ecstasy whatever else is there but I'm definitely allowed to smoke hub which was cleared by my neurologist specifically because he's the one who then said I'm not allowed to smoke everything else um and my pulmonologist and i'm not allowed to drink alcohol did i mention that i'm not allowed to touch alcohol at all um not even a little bit so there's that so yeah um don't worry like i'm not doing anything that's putting myself in danger except for now uh, <laughs> by like holding the camera while i'm trying to vlog but um yeah everything is discussed like it's okay guys also someone asked me like um if i could do a happy video or something something that makes me happy i don't know a video about things that make me happy um or something like that like they're like they understand my depression but it would be nice to see me like happy um i think i'm going to take this opportunity or this time as an opportunity to shed some light on how mental health and some depression and things like that work um I would love to have things that make me happy and and be able to post about oh this makes me happy that makes me happy but in all fairness the way my depression is set up I may have things that make me feel somewhat good in the moment but I don't really have anything that makes me fulfilled and happy that doesn't make me stress out or doesn't contribute to my depression I think the only thing that I love doing that makes me feel good right now is doing YouTube videos so the vlogging making like the content all that that for me for my heart for my soul that's good but like for me to do a video on things that make me happy it's not how it works like yes it would be nice if I'm like oh these are the things that make me happy or you know this is what then keeps me grounded that would be great I get it but it's not how it works I think there just needs to be an understanding of 
mental health um i know not everyone gets it which is why i'm not like mad at the comment but it's just like you can't you can't expect me to say this is what makes me happy if i'm saying i have depression like i this is me saying that my serotonin is so low that it's very difficult for me to be positive about things that's that's what it is chemically it's your serotonin your brain being low which are like the hormones that make you think positively or the hormones that can pick you back up and stuff like that mine was so low that i have to take medication to kind of bring them or balance them or you know create them or whatever so that's just what it is but um yeah okay now i'm driving to the place and i want to eat and listen to music so yeah okay guys here she is hi Come here. and um we just shot okay so let me update you guys i was a bad vlogger today and I completely forgot to vlog I think we were just like trying to get into it and everything but the shots came out so amazing so good she's great um, I always link her she's on my Instagram and everything so you guys will know where to find her but um, when the pictures come out you guys will see them because they're mm -hmm. they look so good by the way she's going places like I was we were just having a conversation I was just saying that like I met her three years ago and she was like a little shy <laughs> and she was just like you know like shadowing basically in photography yeah. and we did like this it was crazy because I was just like take pictures of me or something right he, I think Desiree was doing the silicotini thing mm. so like he had stalking you guys yeah. were taking pictures and I was just like yeah and you're on the back and I was just like hey take pictures of me because I, I asked I was like okay are you also shooting she's like no I'm just learning and I was like okay, cool let's take pictures and I remember we did that yellow I'm gonna like Insert to some I still have those and I was really? re-editing them, thinking of re-editing them. So yeah. now I'll definitely do it. Okay. And I'll send them to you. Okay, cool. Then we'll put them in here. But like she's really great. She's amazing. And you guys have to check her out. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Now I'm being nostalgic and everything. But yes, we're done shooting. So I'll see you guys like in a little bit. Because we're probably gonna go do groceries now. Okay, so it is the following day. I didn't do my groceries yesterday because I googled and the pick and pay that I wanted to go to was going to close in like less than five minutes. So I just came home, ate and literally slept super early yesterday. I was so tired. Um, so now, I know I look like a hot mess or whatever. Um, okay, let me stop being dramatic. But I, I don't look too put together. A new pimple has decided to develop. Um, I haven't covered up my forehead so you can see all the pimples in all their glory. Um, but... I actually did get out of the house today. I just finished. I just got home. I did my grocery shopping. Um, my sinus is so alive today. I did my grocery shopping and I had to buy things from Diskim. I didn't buy everything that I need because there's a video I need to shoot later this week and there was like things that I needed for that but I didn't buy those because like I'm just trying to figure out if I can get a cheap alternative because some of the products were like insanely expensive so I just didn't buy those. But um, for the sake of the continuity, continuity of the vlog, because I'm like, I might as well vlog into tomorrow because I don't think this is enough um, content. Because I was thinking of doing like yesterday's vlog because I was going to do a lot more than I did. And then make that a vlog that goes up like on Tuesday. It's Sunday now, by the way. Make that a vlog that goes up on Tuesday because there's a video that needs to go up today, which I also still need to edit and post today. Um, so then I put this up on Tuesday and then I put Monday's event vlog up on like Thursday and then Thursday's event vlog up on Saturday. That was my plan. But now it seems like I don't have enough footage for this to be a vlog on its own. But to update you guys, what I did do, I did my groceries like I said and then I went to Discam to get the stuff. I went to Cotton On to look for an outfit. Well, I had a specific dress that I found online that I wanted to wear from Cotton On. I got there and they didn't have the size so now I don't know what I'm going to wear. Um, also for tomorrow for the event, I'm supposed to take my skirt to um, get altered because it's too big for me and I haven't done that so I don't know if I can find a place that's going to be able to alter it in like a couple hours but it's not that much that they need to do but um, you know, I need to do my hair so I need to take out this wig, I need to take out the corridors and then I need to do my hair for tomorrow. I forgot to buy the hair for tomorrow. Shucks. Anyway. Let me, uh, I think eat, then do my hair, or do my hair then eat. But anyway, either way, I'm only gonna vlog again tomorrow. So I know I said I wouldn't vlog until tomorrow, but um, I actually was like, oh, let me show you guys the products that I use. Um, I'm not wearing a top right now. <laughs> 
because it's easy to wash my hair when like you know whatever so the water doesn't get everywhere um but i'm currently deep treating my hair so <clears throat> i used the um relaxer that i showed you guys i haven't dyed my hair yet i'm still this is a mask a hair mask um so these are products that i use sometimes like if i take out my cornrows and i just feel like i want to wash my hair with my own product and then get to the salon and just have them dry hair dry my hair and like blow dry it um so that is why i have these and they're like almost empty because i really like them and i love the way they smell so sometimes i just wash my own hair and then i go to the hair salon and just ask them to dry it so i go to the hair salon it's like in a, in a towel with my hair wrapped in a towel but to show you guys i use this shampoo this three in one shampoo it's a dark and lovely this is like a separate range i think why do i have hair all over this is a separate range i don't know but it has this i think you say amla oil and it smells so good um, I was introduced to it by my mom and she, she uses the oil, like the oil as well. Um, but that's like 90 Rand for a small bottle of oil, so I'm fine. And then now nah, this is the hair mask that I have in. But it smells so good. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells really good. So I use them and yeah, they're literally like almost finished because I used I use them quite a bit if I'm doing my hair at home. Look at this little one. So this is all natural. These little pieces are actually all natural because, I, like I said, I hadn't in my other vlog. I did say I hadn't relaxed my hair. I haven't relaxed my hair in months. So this whole piece is how much my hair has basically grown since the last time I relaxed it. Okay. Okay. I realized I look dry, but um, this is what my hair looks like after relaxing it, and. I'm really happy for it, you know, like it is quite thick, which is good because my hair hasn't been just base thick in so long. Okay, so many updates. It's obviously the next day, and oh my shoe sounds like oh my gosh, it's missing the bottom half. Oh my god, great stuff. Um. We're already having a wardrobe malfunction, which is making me feel not great. But anyway, um, I'm at the Google South Africa offices, Google Johannesburg. Um, God, I can't get over the shoe doing that. Anyway, so I'm at the Google South Africa offices. This is my outfit. But if you guys want like a full thing that shows my outfit, it is on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to think, what the fuck? Okay, anyway, hopefully no one will notice. If they do, they're assholes. Because, like, why are you looking at my shoe that hard? Anyway, um, no, but it's making a noise. Like, it's hollow. I don't know. Okay, give me a second to think about this. Okay, so I've arrived at the I, I managed to fix my shoe, if you guys can hear me. I managed to fix my shoe, and I actually had to use lash glue to put my shoe together. I will show you. But yeah, so I'm at the event. I'm gonna show you guys. It's like a dinner thing. So I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of the table settings and whatnot. Are we, are we taking the shine? Because now I've taken three videos. I love it. Yes, actually. Um, what if. One question they will answer. And again, with this question of being about the Chris Humphrey situation, <laughs> you might feel like. You can't. Okay. Okay. I'm too kid to make that decision. If you want to. That was a question, but yeah. But I think just if I could add, we worked with some NBA players to answer questions because what often happens is people want to know. Like, Okay, so we are back home. Um, I don't know, is this lighting shifty? I'm sorry if it is. But um, I just, to end off the vlog, I want to talk a little bit about my experience and I want to do the goodie bag. So I'm going to start off with the negative, I guess, <laughs> whatever. Um, so. You guys obviously probably noticed that um, I went to the events at the beginning of the year. I went to like a lot of the Google events and needless to say they didn't have too many during the year I believe unless I wasn't invited which would be awkward. Um, however, they did have a YouTube event last week I believe. Um, 
I think it was last week. They had a YouTube event, I think. Then there was the Body Shop event. So the Body Shop event I didn't go to. I don't really have a real reason. <laughs> I think it's, it kind of ties into everything. I was going through a lot and whatnot. And, whatnot. and then the YouTube... So they came, the, inv the invites coincidentally just came in at the same time. Then the YouTube event was the day after the body shop event. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys would have seen other influencers go to these events. Yeah, so I was invited to both of them, but I didn't go. Um, and I like going to events, I think it's great. I think um, it's good to see what's happening. It's nice to be in the know as an influencer. It also gives you a lot of content, which is great. Um, I know I like watching when other influencers go to events and all that. So I would take a while, I guess, that maybe you guys enjoy that as well because you get to see me in a different space and in a space for influencers. You know what I mean? Experiencing like the influencer life or YouTuber life. So I didn't go to the YouTube event because I I just felt anxious and I just I think I felt like it was going to be too much pressure and the thing is I'm trying not to cry so I just didn't want to go um, a big part of it is that it's very difficult for me to go to these events because and I actually ended up talking about it a little bit tonight to someone or whatever. But it's like so hard to be in a space of people that you know were on social media last year like laughing at you. Anyway, um I hate crying in front of people, so this is very awkward for me. Um, but yeah, so it's like very difficult to be like in a space when you know like in a space where it feels like you should interact and greet people that you know were on the timeline laughing at something that wasn't even true about your life but they found so much joy and humor in putting you down. Um, so I just didn't want to go to the YouTube event because I knew a lot of those people um, would be there. So um with this one this particular so there's two events there's one on thursday and then there's one there was this one today so the one on thursday they they basically um did a save the date like over a month ago and i agreed to go i i rsvp'd and everything I, I put on hold on my google calendar and whatnot because i mean i've been going to google events for a long time before it is even for influencing like my high school um in Cape Town, they hosted the first ever Google Summit, like Google Education Summit or something like that in Africa. So I was there, you know, working and helping out or whatever and all that. Um, so I enjoy Google events. I feel like they're so, uh, like, there's, there's just like so, not futuristic, but like, you know, it's just innovative. It's you, you learning the next best thing and you're learning about what's new, what's coming up and all that stuff. So I love Google events specifically. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I RSVP a long time ago. And then it came up, like this dinner came up. So this dinner is basically a preview, which is great. It's like what is going to be launched on Thursday at the main event, which I RSVP a long time ago. So because I was already going to the main event and I was already thinking about what I'm going to wear and all these things, I was just like, you know, let me go to this... Um, dinner it's still a google event it makes sense i get to dress up i haven't done that in a while i need a little bit of a pick me up and for me it was kind of like okay even though google and youtube work very closely it was just like a this is more google oriented so usually with google stuff even though they say influencers it could be an influence of any caliber from any platform you know just instagram or you know different people it doesn't have to necessarily be people that you know or you know are in the same demographics as you essentially so I, I, I came, to, I went to this event and the event itself, so it was like a dinner, it was great, you guys saw, it was just like they introduced it so we weren't allowed to really speak about what's going on so that's like a sneak peek, you guys will get to see it in my Thursday vlog, I think I will still be going. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then the rest of it was the dinner, so I basically... It was just 
really awkward. I don't want to talk about the details because I just don't want to get into it. But it was awkward. I mean, people like, okay, so the one guy actually works for Google from Nigeria, from Lagos, was actually talking to me and chilling with me and whatever. Which I was saying to if th those of you who've seen my Instagram, the person that I refer to as my baby. Um, I was saying to baby, oh, this sounds so weird out loud. But I was saying to them, um, whenever I go to these events, I'm like the kid that hangs out with the teacher. Because most of the other Google events, I've always hung out with other people that work at Google. Or, you know, things like that. Like, it just... I feel like I'm that person who, when you're going on the class trip, they have to sit and eat lunch with the teacher. And it's not nice. Um, but yeah, and then eventually... Another person was like, oh, you're sitting all alone, like, do you want to come sit with us? But this is at the end, which I, I, I appreciate the olive branch, um, which was cool. And then we had a fun conversation and, you know, then other influencers started, like, greeting. But right at the end, as I was leaving, but only when they saw me with these people and it was... All in all, I feel like my anxiety, my mental health, my mental state, does not really allow me to be in these spaces and I don't like it and it makes me feel not good about myself. I don't like... I almost feel written off in a sense. I almost feel like they're... like I don't belong in the South African YouTuber or influencer clicks which is normal for me because I've never belonged in any cliques in, in my life ever. I've never fit in, I guess. Anyway. You know? Um, so yeah. The emotional part of it is not nice. But. Oh, I feel like. What a good makeup and hair look. Anyway, um, yeah, so, things I received. Upon arrival at the Google head offices, South Africa, we got these red bands. So, the last time they had, like, tags for us, um, for this event, they just had these cute little red bands, but it's also because it's a dinner, so we're dressed up, I suppose. The red band is better than, like, having to clip on a tag and all that, because it's a dinner. And then we also got goodie bags, so Google goodie bags, I'll show these. Um, hmm, interesting. I haven't actually looked at any of this, so this is my first time seeing this stuff. So this is a desk organizer with a wireless charger. What? What do they mean? No ways. What? This is fancy. No. And this is Google for South Africa. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. And then a a cork, I almost said a cork bottle, a cork bottle, 500 meters living, okay, this is a water bottle, I need that, because I should be drinking more water, but I'm not, so maybe this will help, oh, this is so cute, and then it's got like a Google for South Africa cover, and, oh, I like this, clear, this is my personality in the bottle, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so, I think that's all in the goodie bag. I t I, honestly, if they gave us more, I'd be like, you guys are overdoing it. Like, whoa, slow down. But yes, that is the goodie bag. It looks great. Um, I really, like, love going to Google events. I love the people that work at Google South Africa. Um, I love the things that they organize. It's always very creative, very fun. You know, like the Bachelor, the Women's, um, International Women's Day, and all that stuff. So I really enjoy that. Also, don't take what I went through just now and what I spoke about as like me saying the event is terrible, the event is great, the event organizers. It has nothing to do with anything in the actual event. It's more so the people that happen to go, that happen to laugh at me, and I happen to still take offense to that. 
and I happen to also not be a pretender, which is probably why it's so difficult for me because I know some people like Kiki with people that they know have done them wrong, but it's just like, let's keep it moving. I can't. I can't, I can't do that. I don't know why. Like, I, I just can't. Like, I'd rather just stay away from that. So, yes, I really enjoyed the event. Um, if you guys want to see, like, my full Instagram outfit. Also, by the way, have you guys checked out my video of me unboxing this bangle from Julia? It will be, I think it's up here. Um, check out my Instagram for the full outfit pictures because I don't think I show my outfit very well here. Um, also, I know people are going to ask me, all of these clothes, like, I didn't buy anything new. A lot of people ask me, like, where do you get this? Where do you get that? A lot of my clothes, I, I haven't gone full on proper shopping in years. So a lot of things, like, I do buy small by small. And, like, what was that? Small by small by small. I do buy, like, in little bits and pieces. But those, I would say, like, I got this from such and such. If I didn't say where I got it from, it's because I got it, like, two or three years ago. And you probably won't find it there. Um, so, yeah, like, the skirt... Um, if you see on my Instagram, it's from Cotton On and I actually bought it from the factory shop so it was like a reject skirt and I bought it back in 2014 and I've never ever worn it ever until today I actually had to, had to get it tailored so I really liked the skirt but it was a size too big it's actually like a medium which I'm not so the waistband has always been big for me but I've always kept the skirt I never wanted to let go of it so today I actually took it to um, the tailor and I got it tailored and cinched for me so this is the first time I'm wearing a skirt from 2015 so a lot of outfits and clothes and stuff that I do put together some of them are things that I've never ever worn but then I took it to like the tailor to finally fit me and then yeah well, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this vlog um give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below i don't know are you guys like yeah okay anyway <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel also do turn on your post notifications so you know when i post new vlogs and all of that i really love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one <laughs> I haven't done this kiss in such a long time. Oh my gosh. It is a Thursday and I have the Google event that I am attending today. Um, I am severely late. But we're not going to talk about that. And I don't know if I'm like overdressed, underdressed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm here and we're going to see. So yeah, I just... I wanted to vlog it anyway, so I don't know if there's much time of it left, but um, I'm going to be vlogging and just showing you guys what's going on and all of that. But we are in Santon, it's the Google event, um, it's like the main event for what I went to on Monday. Monday was just like the sneak peek basically for influencers and today is the actual launch of everything. So yeah, let us get in. This is what it looks like when you walk in and I think this is like the media desk and then this is for RSVP guests and all of that. Or asking to buy products in the real store companies. So we're really looking for forward to evolving Google My Business to continue serving that purpose for businesses.